after a cloudy morning, a beautiful sunshiny day, still cool with the temperature in the high 50s, but heading for the 70s. Tumbling kickoff down to McGrew, who takes an in. And to become the all-time leading rusher in Husky history. And off the play fake. They're a big play action team. Browning under duress, throws an interception. The Amador Lenore with the ninth interception of the year to lead the Pac-12 for Oregon. And it's only a two-man route with an outlet route. So Jake Browning, when he comes out of the fake, has nowhere to go with the football. Pressure by Jelks, number 97, made him uncomfortable. And when he threw it, he did not pick up Lenore in the back. Second and five, some trickery and some running room. Savon Ahmed inside the five. And into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Yeah, the muddle huddle really caught Oregon off guard. They were not set. Washington broke out of the huddle quick, snapped it quick, and Oregon was all discombobulated on defense. Ahmed able to turn that end around into a touchdown. His excellent speed. Question is, was he in bounds all the way? Yes, yeah, he was. Absolutely. Not highly recruited by the Power Five schools. He was looking at Montana State, Nevada, among others, before his hometown Ducks came in late with a scholarship offer. They emptied the backfield. They protect him well. He has his man, Dylan Mitchell. Nice move. Touchdown. guy Mitchell the number one target you see how late the coverage is getting to him and by the time they get there he's able to elude a couple defenders and into the bag of tricks go the Huskies they flipped it back to Browning and he's on target that was well covered but Browning's throw a beauty to Drew Sample for a 33 yard gain <laughs> Well, poor Justin Hollins. Watch number 11. He almost makes three tackles. One, two, three. He misses all three. Browning is still able to make a beautiful throw on the run. And that's just a linebacker who's not used to covering downfield like that. Apelu not used to that kind of coverage and a beautiful throw by Jake Browning. Ahmed is the tailback. It's a toss to him, and he uses that speed to give Washington the lead. He's going to come right into the screen right here and get the key block to send this thing outside. Just collapses the right side of the defense, and Ahmed able to get to the corner for the end zone for the touchdown. Great view of his second touchdown of the day from the progressive pylon cam. To have the field goal team ready as well, if that's what you're going to do, because you can't clock it. It'll be fourth down. You don't get a first down. Herbert running out of time. He throws a bullet. Was he in by? No sign yet. Touchdown, at least for the moment, for Jalen Red. We told you this guy can make special throws. We've waited the whole first half to really see one. This is a special throw. Rolling, throwing on the move, and a dime right to the corner of the end zone. Does he maintain control with one foot in? I think so. And the foot's in. Beautiful There's some work. space between those toes and the boundary. They're going to make sure he completed the catch. What a beautiful throw on the move under duress by Justin Herbert. Clearly his best pass of the first half. From the progressive pylon cam. Looked like the ball was going to slip out, and then he secured it with the foot down. Completes the catch. That's a touchdown right here at the end of the half by the Oregon Ducks. As great as that throw is, that has to be a hard ball to catch. Yeah. First and goal from the one. Oregon trying to recapture the lead. And they put Verdell back in. Touchdown! When you want to run for the touchdown, run behind the new guy. The freshman left tackle. That's where they took the football. And Verdell was able to get that ball across the plane. Again, time now running out of time. Browning throws on the run, deep throw, and a touchdown! Ty Jones the catch. Unbelievable throw. Watch him leave the pocket, but not leave his eyes from downfield. He gets help to get him out of the pocket. 
and then the big receiver, he bodies up the smaller cornerback. He just shields him away from the football and is able to make the catch. And then this one, deep down the field. Watch Ty Jones, 6'4". He turns his man around, then he just has him. Thomas Graham, he has him behind him. Thomas Graham has no idea where the ball is because he's just trying to scramble to get back into coverage. And Jake Browning hits him for the touchdown. Browning three for three on the drive for 66 yards, including the 43-yard touchdown pass to the sophomore. A.J. Cardi, second year as the long snapper. The punter, Race Porter, is the holder. Peyton Henry to win it. And he hooked it. No good. Well, he ended up one for three, Sean. The one that counted. Barely outside that right upright. And Mario Cristobal's Oregon Ducks team gets to go to overtime again. And that feels like a loss for Washington and a win for Oregon at that moment right there. Not a tie. Well, they lost Ducks. for one. Coach Cristobal felt like they gave one away, and they really did against Stanford. They were given the gift by Washington here on the miss by Henry. So we'll go to overtime. Oh. Herbert in the pocket. Throws. Caught. First down. Dylan Mitchell spins inside the 10-yard line. Did a great job working on Miles Bryant. Miles Bryant is covering him. It's to the top of the screen. Herbert's looking at Mitchell the whole way. He gets separation from Miles Bryant, and Herbert puts the ball right on it. Here's the route. Watch him turn him around, get separation. One of the most important head to head for sure. Mitchell goes in motion. They hand it off. Straight ahead for a touchdown. CJ Verdell. Wins the game for Oregon. He had a holding penalty earlier. He goes to the second level, gets a block on the linebacker, and Verdell runs in for the touchdown. Sweet redemption. For the man who had the very costly fumble when they were just running out the clock to beat Stanford. Stanford wound up kicking the field goal to tie it and beat the Ducks in overtime. This time, Verdell's carry wins the game in overtime. Redshirt freshman from Chula Vista, California.